Hello guys, it's me Lunar, welcome back to another Modern Warfare and Warzone update video. Season 5 launches in less than 24 hours and the roadmap has been revealed going over all the new content you can expect to see in the next 24 hours or so and what to expect in the next 8 weeks of the season. I'm going over everything you can see in the roadmap on screen now including what's new in Warzone, multiplayer and the battle pass. First, if you're like me and hate to watch 10 minute videos and just want straight to the punt updates and info for Call of Duty, then please support my channel by watching the video right until the end and liking and commenting. This lets the YouTube bots know that while the video is short, it is worth suggesting alongside those much longer 10 minute videos, and I have to admit you guys have done an awesome job on that so far. Anyway, let's jump into it because we have a lot to go over. And we're going to start with what is changing in the Warzone map. Number one, the stadium is now open. As you might have gathered by now, the Acropolis National Arena, aka the Verdansk Stadium, is receiving a multitude of new visitors now that the Shadow Company announced their presence in an explosive roof-based insertion. The stadium comes complete with pitch surrounded by rows of seating, an additional underground parking structure, a succession stand lobby, as well as other multiple interior concourses and field access. Number two, the train station. The stadium isn't the only large-scale location getting interior access. The ornate and imposing Verdansk train station is also open for operators to explore. The station building features a number of inside locations to explore, all linked to the main ticket hall and platforms. This significantly changes the overall look, feel and tactical outlook in and around the area of the Warzone map. Number 3, a freight train is being added. A hulking freight train is on a path of destruction and it's up to you and your fellow operators to use this locomotive behemoth to your tactical advantage. The train rolls through one of the main arterial railroad tracks that circumnavigates the southwestern part of Verdansk in a large loop. It can be a source of protection, an epicenter of firefights and even offers some exceptional takedown potentials if your team claims it's trained for themselves and guards it with additional vehicles and heavy weaponry. Number 4, zip lines have been added. During past navigations through multiple floor buildings, interiors, usually located downtown, you might have clamped onto vertical zip lines inside an elevator shaft, for example, like the one you can find at the hospital. Now you can expect additional and strategical positioned exterior ascenders dotted throughout Verdansk. This will primarily be attached to the exterior of taller buildings enabling you to gain a tactical and height advantage from a different angle and with more haste than ever before. Okay guys, so those are all the things that are changing in the actual Warzone map, but what is changing in Warzone itself? And we have two main changes. Number one, a new game mode called Mini Royale. This condenses the craziest parts of the main battle royale mode into fast paced chunks of chaotic and almost constant combat. Mini Royale lowers the number of operators sent into Verdansk, but quickens the BR experience. Only the first and last 5 minutes of a normal BR game exist, meaning rapid deployment, constant movement and high skilled strategies are set to yield victories that are both short and sweet. Number 2, there will be new weapon rotations. So the weaponry you discover lying on the ground or in supply crates has been meticulously updated to potentially provide new pre-loadout drop weapon tactics for your squad. Expect 8 common, 13 uncommon, 15 rare, 19 epic and 25 legendary variants to find throughout Verdansk now. So guys that is what is new in Warzone and these changes will be taking place in tomorrow's update when it does drop, but what is new in the battle pass? First we have two new weapons being added called the ISO and the AN94. The ISO SMG is a precision crafted 9mm submachine gun with a rapid rate of fire. It's lightweight, reliable and compact and is designed to control the battlefield at close ranges. The AN94 is a cutting edge 5.45x39mm Russian assault rifle with a unique hyperburst feature. The initial shot of full auto volley is followed up by an instantaneous second round before significant recoil is felt. This creates a tightly grouped cluster of shots with increased damage potential and the mechanism is fed by a canted magazine and reciprocating receiver that will help in the control of the recoil. What about the instant unlocks that you will get if you buy the battle pass? Well there are four main things, one a new operator which is Lurch and you will get his basic skin, you will unlock more of his skins when you unlock more things in the battle pass. Your first war track. War tracks are new in-game music that you can listen to in your vehicles and there will be three available in the battle pass. A new Rodion operator skin after he pledged allegiance to the Shadow Company and you will also get an instant XP boost unlocked when you purchase the battle pass. At level 100 there will be three different things that you will get. A Rook skin for Rose, a Veil vehicle skin, 
and the company might negative tracer round for Assault Rifle Lima. And of course, once you've unlocked the Battle Pass, players can earn additional content including emblems, stickers, calling cards, charms, and vehicle skins, a compass watch, additional Call of Duty points, and not to mention a number of free blueprints, one LMG, sniper rifle, marksman rifle, and assault rifle blueprint, respectively. And there will also be more things throughout the season to unlock as well in the store, including new operators Velikin and Mart, and a new weapon, the Jewel Kadachis. So Season 5 has a lot to offer in terms of new content for Warzone, but what about what is new in multiplayer? We're going to start with the four new maps that will be added, and all four will be coming in tomorrow's update. Number 1, Livestock, a new gunfight map. A rural compound set around a central barn structure, operators can use hay bales and agricultural equipment scattered around the map as cover. A deceptively simple layout, you'll discover a honeycomb of flak routes that take you in and around the barn, designed primarily for quick close quarter combat. Number 2, Petrov Oil Rig. This is one of two 6v6 multiplayer maps. The second is Soldel Harbour, which I will go over in a second. Recently abandoned due to an ongoing hostilities between Coalition and Allegiant forces, the rig is surrounded by deep murky water, cargo ships and dock submarines, other oil rigs and distant glaciers. Soldel Harbour is set in the Middle East. The medium sized 6v6 player map has operators weaving through a variety of dockside structures and scenery, including shipping areas, fish markets and weather beaten administrative buildings. The harbour is located within a large port city that boasts a medieval castle perched on a distant bluff, but there is little time for sightseeing in this map. The fourth and final new map is going to be Verdansk International Airport, and this is coming to Grand War. Previously only accepting arrivals in Warzone, this Grand War map takes place in and around the airport. The zone encompasses the airport interior, parking garage, adjacent apartment complex, and subway entrance, as well as hangars that move along the eastern edge of the map. Finally then guys, we have a couple of new modes arriving for multiplayer. Number 1, Bare Bones, a rotation of Team Deathmatch, Domination, HQ, Hardpoint and Kill Confirmed, with the same rule sets as before, albeit with one important distinction. There's no kill streaks, no field upgrades and no perks. Second, we have Search and Destroy Double Down. The variant game mode features elements from the classic Search and Destroy, where one team must plant a demolition charge on an enemy weapons cache. Except this time, the stakes are higher and the scale is bigger. This is now going to be 12v12, so expect there to be a lot of chaos. Guys, that is about it. The update is out in the next 24 hours. There's some conflicting times on when that will actually drop, but it will be within the next 24 hours anyway. And everything that is mentioned in the video will be dropping in that update. If you want to know the file size, they are confirmed. The PlayStation 4 will have a 33.9 gigabyte update, and you can actually pre-download that right now, which is a new feature on the PS4. The Xbox One one will be 49.8 gigabytes, so it's bigger, and you will have to wait for the actual update to be out before before you can start downloading it unfortunately. The PC will be 54.2 gigabytes if you're an owner of Modern Warfare and 47.4 if you just download the Warzone part only. But guys I will be back tomorrow if and when the patch notes drop for the update make sure to like comment and subscribe to stay up to date and I will see you guys next time.